Hello everyone, welcome to our new set. Actually, we're on location at CoWork, and today I am interviewing the owner, Tim McAlpine. Well, hi Nancy, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much, and uh, again, thank you for suggesting we come here uh, to do this, because this is pretty cool. Thank you. It's new experience for us. Um, and I'm say, as I'm talking about Corley, our editor slash director, <laughs> I want to backtrack to maybe three or four years ago, Okay. when I first came here, uh, yeah. to this building. Mm -hmm. So tell us what was happening at that time. Well, three or four years ago, let's go, actually go back 20 years ago. Okay. Uh, I first moved into this building in 2000, if you can believe it. Wow. No. Yeah. And we grew our, our graphic design marketing firm here to probably about 15 people at the height. And then I realized that was way too many people for my liking. Um, I'm a doer, not a manager. So I consciously scaled back our team. We're six today with currency marketing right. and ended up with a whole lot of extra space considering that at the time, well, even now, there's only two of us in Chilliwack and the rest of my team is throughout the Fraser Valley and Vancouver. So we get together one day a week. So I had a ton of extra space thinking, what do I do with that? And had this kind of circular conversation with my landlord. I was leasing at the time. Okay. And he would come in, a couple brothers, um, and the younger being about 80. And every <laughs> they'd come in for their check and they'd say, well, How's it going? I said, well, it, business is fine, but I don't need all this space. Uh, I think I'm going to give you notice on my, the end of my next lease. Well, why would you do that? Well, because you won't sell me the place. Well, why would we sell you the place? You're such a good tenant. And we had this circular conversation going for at least two years. Finally worked them over the barrel, and they sold the space to me in 2015. Awesome. So I really got reinvigorated and excited to do some renos and, and so forth. Um and I had been traveling all over North America and kind of seeing co-work spaces pop up, mostly in urban centers, right? And I thought, could this work in Chilliwack? And so we started co-work Chilliwack now four years ago. Mm -hmm. um, this is what we're in now is our first closed office. And then there were some open desk areas, which we call hot desk. And sure enough, it filled up. Um, did another reno upstairs. Those offices filled up. More co-work uh, hot desk spaces filled up. And then two years ago now, I bought the unit next door and we pushed over into there. And it's been really cool to do it as kind of a side hustle thing. It's not been necessary that it completely pay the mortgage, but it's grown into quite an entity on its own. And we're now 8,000 square feet and there are about 60 people that work out of here. Wow. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's, that's for sure. Um, one of the things I remember, like when we used to come here, because our symphony improv team yep. rehearses here at, at their, their stage. Um, we can't see it from this angle, but... Right. Um, and at that time, it was just a photo area, Yes, right? the, the origin story of this space was photography. Um, way back when, I had a full-time photographer. This was for, before kind of the advent of online digital stock photography, and, and that side of the business just sort of petered off as we shifted in direction and it became Tim's hoarding place of, <laughs> of, of all the things that I should have taken to the dump or listed online and and occasionally we would clear it out and do a family portrait or something like that but it was a big open white room uh, with a, what was called a seamless cove you know once upon a time we could actually drive vehicles in here and, and do f photos from above and you know that kind of seamless sweep that you see where it just mm. goes to nothing and so when bought the place and thought, well, this could be an interesting retake on what this is. Put a stage in, kind of quasi little theater. Um, and then at one point, it, people have called this room in particular my midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, one of your members of your um, improv team in particular coined that phrase. Oh. I won't call them out. No, uh, I just should. I think you should. Yeah, but it's, it rhymes with not... Nick Betty. <laughs> um, and I'm quick to point out that I'm beyond midlife. Right. And it's okay. better than like a Corvette or something. Or right. a midlife crisis. Anyways, put the stage in, put some stage lighting in, put some audio ability. And then I thought, well, if this is going to be a real kind of theater vibe, it should be black. And it's kind of like... Even in your sideburns, you end up with a mohawk like Mr. T, right? right? So I slapped some black paint on, and then I didn't know where to stop it. And then I stopped it, sat on it for a couple of weeks, and then 
thought this whole place should be black. So got uh, got some ladders and scaffolding and just painted everything. Yeah. Well, we're going to have a quick break, okay? Sure. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Tales from the Quarantine with Nancy Sigga. We're back, and I'm at Cowork interviewing Tim McAlpine. So, Tim, you were just talking about changing this room around, going to the black walls, mm -hmm. right? Now, I just remember also, though, that in the stage here, people could do, businesses could do presentations, yep. correct? Yeah, Is that sure. still an option? Absolutely. Uh, we've had so many wonderful different rentals from uh, small musical groups, musical theater, uh, business seminars, we can put tables out and do classroom style. We've got a software company that does their quarterly meeting here with about 30 employees and, and they strategize for the day and it, it really works for that. Yep. I was watching you um, before we set up uh, with all the electronic uh, equipment. Mm -hmm. So did all that stuff come use, uh, natural to you? Sorry. Um, yeah, to a degree. I've always been involved with photography and some video work as a as a component of what we do. But the whole deep dive into live production has been a really fun, very steep learning curve. Um, one of our members here at Cowork Chilliwack is Robbie Snooks. Yes. And Robbie is one of the premier live production video people in Canada, if not North America, honestly. So he does all the live production of the Chilliwack Chiefs and the city of Chilliwack. Last year, he produced uh, 260 live productions. Wow. Yeah. And so I was asking Robbie, about, oh, I'm thinking of doing this, and what, what should I get? And he would say, maybe these cameras, or look at this switcher, and, and sort of led me down this. And he warned me, yeah, once you're in, it's no turning back. It's like the Matrix. Do you want the <laughs> blue or the red pill? <laughs> and so he's been a great mentor in trying to figure out what we need here. And uh, I think we've arrived. Mm -hmm. It's like morphed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so you mentioned um, folks coming in and doing productions. Well, a natural outgrowth of that was, hey, can we film it? And it's a pretty small footprint. And you start putting up tripods and cameramen. And so the idea of, hey, we should mount some cameras above the crowd, be able to remote control them from the tech center, uh, live switch between them, hit record, hit stop, and you're ready to go. And so that's been uh, not only kind of a passion project, but it's starting to really get used. And the space we're in right now, mm -hmm. um, we've had requests for audio recording or a nice soundproof room. And we did have... Another hoarding problem upstairs, one of Tim's uh, rooms, we <laughs> cleaned it all out and thought that that would make a good podcast studio upstairs. But the more I thought about it, the more I really figured it should be adjacent to our bigger studio. Right. And so Michael, who works with me, I said, um, those people that are in that office, can you negotiate with them to move to another office? He's my henchman. <laughs> And, uh, and so we went down that path before Christmas and over the last two months have transformed this space into our new podcast studio. Right. Now, I know that you now are doing interviews, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something we do, like there's a number of regular um, meetings that happen in the studio. One of them is uh, called Startup Grind. And it's, we have a chapter here in Chilliwack. So it's Startup Grind Chilliwack. And it originates out of Silicon Valley, the tech hub. And there's more than 600 chapters worldwide. And so the, the idea around that is to build a innovation and technology culture in the upper Fraser Valley and getting people together on a monthly basis um, and doing these fireside chat interviews, much like you're doing with me right now. Right. And so I've been doing that now. I've done 14 of them. And it's been really neat just to interview some real innovators that you wouldn't know about. And... Um, some of you would. Last week, I had the pleasure of interviewing Brian Minter. Very nice. Yeah. All right. Uh, so what are your future plans? Do you have any? Uh, for co-work? Uh, it's to settle down and, and, and stop writing checks and uh, 
getting stuff from Amazon and see if we can really make some hay with it. Uh, the space itself is great. It's going really well. Michael manages that. It's been kind of over time just building, and now it's this real neat center of activity. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the things I'm most proud about is the connections that are made here. Right. Um, my early pitch that it was, you're an independent person working from home. You've either overstayed your welcome at Starbucks or had too many conversations with your cat. <laughs> and because it can be kind of lonely and isolating to be an independent <laughs> freelancer, right? So, right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so all of these people, some are here for a couple of days a week at a hot desk, but it's a reprieve from just working on their own. And so the connections that have been made and, and the actual business that's been done between the people is pretty cool. Right. Well, it's been awesome. I mean, time goes so fast. Unfortunately, we're out of time. But I have one quick question okay. before we go, because I know you have, like in this room, you have a, a balcony. Yes. Weren't you supposed to put in a zip line just for me? Well, you keep saying that at the, um, <laughs> at the improv rehearsals that you do. And it is on the list. Okay. It's, I'm not going to say where it is on the <laughs> list. Um, I don't know where it is on the safety check either. And now that we're broadcasting this, I'm sure I'm going to have a visit from the fire department. Uh oh. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. Okay. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for um, inviting us here. It's been great. And thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Anytime, for sure. Invite us again. And thank you for watching. Hope you see you again soon. In the meantime, peace out. <laughs> <laughs>